Good morning, beloved of God. It's uh, like very cold in New Mexico. So I hope that you find yourself warm and cozy wherever you are. Got a gift here from Emmy, one of our preschoolers. Wonderful craft gifts. Uh, welcome to Old Testament Thursday. If you're here regularly with us uh, any time throughout the day, um, you'll know that, that this is the day where we look ahead to the Old Testament text for Sunday. Uh, and so today we're invited to the book of Micah. Uh, the minor prophets there in our Old Testament Hebrew text, so you can find your way, I should have done this before, um, to Micah, not Malachi, but Micah, chapter 6, verses 1 through 8. It's a, a little bit of a longer text that ends um, to a familiar place for many, I believe, along the way, uh, who live with God's word regularly on their journey. So read along if you'd like here. Hear what the Lord says. Rise, plead your case before the mountains and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, you mountains, the controversy of the Lord and you enduring foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with his people and he will contend with Israel. O oh, my people, what have I done to you? In what have I wearied you? Answer me. For I brought you up from the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of slavery. And I sent before you Moses and Aaron and Miriam. O oh, my people, remember now what King Balak of Moab devised, what Balaam, son of Beor, answered him, and what happened from Shittim to Gilgal, that you may know the saving acts of the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? So here you have this uh, courtroom scene. So all, all you fans of law and order, I'm sure, are out there. Um, and the, so the voice switches a few times here. Uh, so just you know, kind of note that in your reading. And then we land here uh, after um, after Israel kind of um, defends and says, well, well, with what shall I come before the Lord? Um, we get to verse 8 here. God has told you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. If you were at a conference with me a week and a half ago, it's where the, all of the hundreds in the audience will go, mmm, mmm, and uh, the power of that verse. Uh, Don't Skip Ahead is the title of our devotion from Christ in Our Home, if you have it there and want to read along uh, from our friends at and partners at Oxford Fortress. It invites our focus to the fifth verse, Oh, my people, remember now. Today's reading climaxes on in a favorite Bible verse for many. What does the Lord require of you but to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God? But before those commands come, one another one. Remember. Remember. Remember the grace God has shown you. Remember the troubles from which God rescued and redeemed you. Remember the saving acts of the Lord. This is the foundation. When we do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with our God, it is a response. Part of walking humbly is recognizing and remembering that God leads this dance. Rushing ahead to verse 8 steps on God's toes and threatens to make our behavior the focus. A subtle but real idolatry. Begin instead with a clear memory of how God has treated us. Let justice, kindness, and humble partnership with God flow naturally from God's graceful lead. Pray together, won't you? Thank you for your justice and kindness towards us, Lord, and for walking humbly with us in Christ. Amen. 
And as this day unfolds before you, be invited to continue in prayer for those who care for persons with memory loss. And may God continue to bless you. As we gather for a devotion here tomorrow, um, digitally with the Morrisons, uh, as we gather for worship on Saturday at 1 o'clock, to remember and give thanks for the life and the journey we shared with Bobby Dobslaw. And that'll also be streamed here digitally for those um, in Ohio and, and other places that will be tuning in where Bobby has, uh, has been part of that journey. And uh, then again on Sunday morning at both 9, streamed here uh, from Cross of Hope, and at 1045. God continue to bless you and hold you, beloved of God.